Fight. 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 Herman Fight. became the voice of Mortal Kombat, I think, on Mortal Kombat 4. That was the first game that he was the announcer. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Herman has a very uh, eccentric, quirky personality, so it's only fitting that he would be the voice of Final Mortal Kombat. Just all he has, to, he could sit there reciting like shampoo instructions, and he could make it interesting. The Flash. The Flash. I don't know who was the first one who thought that he would be a good, you know, announcer, but um, at some point we pulled him into the studio and uh, it's been working ever since. Flawless victory! I believe there was uh, someone involved in the studio, I think it may have been Dan, uh, the toasty guy, um, asked me, um, because he had heard my voice in the hallways, and um, they just asked me, would you mind doing a take or two, just half an hour in the studio, whatever, you know, it may come to something, it may not. And yeah, here I am, over a decade later, still doing you. Know, finish him, Brian Shard. There we go. That one works. I love finish him. It's, it's so you know when he when he nails it, it's just dripping with power and disdain and finish him. <laughs> he does have a vocal quality that is you know different from anyone else's. Um, it's very you know low and and you know dulcet tones if you will but uh, at the same time he has you know that little bit of you know hint of authority and and evilness to it when he wants to bring you know turn it on fatality Herman has a great voice um, naturally without doing anything to his voice at all no processing no pitch shifting nothing it is naturally deep and it's naturally low, and he's also um, enunciates his words very well. And hearing a voice that sounds like Herman's naturally as it is, um, kind of gives an audio designer a lot of ideas creatively on what to do to his voice. <laughs> Brutality. When you put a microphone up to it and you add a little, a little echo, a little reverb, you know, you just happen to get something that fits Mortal Kombat. Baraka! And in this particular case, especially with the next gen MK coming out, what we did is we made his voice surround sound. Superman! Everyone who ends up finding out about my participation in the game knows me as the voice of Mortal Kombat, but they are, they're always surprised to actually find out that, oh, I do work on the game as well. So, yeah, the voice always seems to be the focus, but yeah, it's just like, oh, you, you know the characters that you play as in the game? Oh yeah, I make those. You're like, oh, really? Oh, wow, I thought you were always just the voice. And, or not that just the voice is, you know, not enough, but wow, you, you, you do the characters too? You know, he's been part of the team since time immemorial, so he knows of which he speaks. He, he understands what the game looks like, what it, what it should sound like. Rich Carl wins. <laughs> you like that one, huh? Herman is a really fun guy to work with, and that makes everybody's job easier. When we see that we need to capture new announcer VO, it's it's not a chore. It's something you look forward to, and and you know that he's going to be, you know, Herman's going to be spot on. He doesn't need a lot of direction. He's done this for a long time, and so you know he's just going to get in there and boom it out and. We'll have some laughs while we're doing it. Hey, Herman. Yeah. You know what? I could I could use a new phone message. Rich Carl is not available at the moment. Message. <laughs> <laughs> him. Message him. <laughs> <laughs> Text, Text him. Text him. <laughs> Text him. Text him. He knows the character, and because in a sense that he is, he's helped define that character. You know how he would laugh. Throw some laughs in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Finish him. He's ready to go. He knows how far he's supposed to be away from the mic. He knows what sound, you know, he, he knows how to dial it up right away. You only get better with practice, is what I'm told. One day I'll nail this, guys. I'm sorry, you know, give me a little, little time, some patience. Recording sessions take just about as much time as it does for him to say the line once, maybe twice, all the way through. Uh, he delivers first time out every time. The Joker. He's a really cool guy to do it with because again he's super lighthearted, he's always joking around. <gasps> Round 15. <sighs> and I think Herman adds personality to that voice. Um, how have you been since 
that evening. Um, <laughs> I've, I've been meaning to call, really, but uh, I don't think we've ever asked him to say strange things. I think sometimes in the course of reading a script, we'll throw out something ridiculous that usually some iteration of brutality or fatality. Oh, we're going to go back to the dark days? Babality. Babality. Desperation. I guess for me, you'd have to be involved with him on the team to kind of get it, but to imagine him as this very like dark, overlordy presence in the sound booth, and then it's like, it's just Herman, it's not Shao Kahn. See ya. <laughs>